Welcome to Office Hours by Triple X Church. I'm your host, Carl Thomas. I'm a pastor, certified neural health coach, and a guy who frankly struggled with a lot of the stuff we talk about here for over 20 years until I found freedom over a decade ago. In today's episode, we are going to be jumping in and answering this question. I have a bad habit of masturbation. Can you help me get rid of it? That's what I will be discussing today, so make sure you hang in there with me. Recognize that no questions are ever off the table, and I'm going to be as honest with my answers as I possibly can be, so don't get offended. So, without any further delay, let's jump in. Okay, so this question of masturbation and quitting has come in to us before multiple times. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I do want to address a couple things. All right, so first of all, this idea of masturbation being a bad habit. Let's get away from labels, okay? Addiction, habit, all these things. Sometimes uh, what happens is when we choose certain words, uh, sometimes we, we do it to minimize or demonize uh, different things that we struggle with in our life, right? So I've, I've heard guys say, well, it's not an addiction. It's just a habit. It's no big deal. I've also heard people say, oh, it's a really, you know, it's a really bad habit and, and I, and I got to get rid of it. Uh, but, but the idea is that it's just this kind of repetitive behavior that you go to and, uh, and you can just, you can just stop doing it. You know, it's like the habit of picking, picking your nose or, uh, playing with your fingernails. You know, it's just something I gotta, I guess, gotta stop doing. Um, a lot of behavior modification focused thinking. And I will tell you that unwanted sexual behavior, whether it be masturbation, porn use, going to strip clubs, random hookups at the, at the, at the truck stop, whatever. Uh, these things are more than just a quote unquote bad habit. You can call it a bad habit. You can call it an addiction. You can call it um, habitual unwanted sexual behavior, whatever label you want to put on it. At the end of the day, it is a behavior that is disrupting your life that you have found um, the inability to escape from. Okay. And so it's, it's a lot more than just behavior modification. Actually, it's, it's not even about behavior modification. The reason we go to these things like porn, like masturbation, like strip clubs is because, you know, as men or even as women, you know, I'm not going to leave them out. They, there's plenty of women out there struggling with this stuff too. We use this as a form of escape, all right, to get away from uncomfortable emotions or pain that we're dealing with in our life. That is the case. And so many people out there think that because masturbation and porn involve sex, that their habits in, are about sex, right? I just want sex so much. I need to, you know, I just need to stop wanting sex. It's not about sex. Yes, yeah, sex is the outlet, but it's not about sex. It's about the fact that you, quite frankly, have, in, 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 I'm not saying this in a condemning way, it's just a clinical term, if you will, but you have an emotional immaturity that you're dealing with, right? You don't know how to deal with certain pains and issues in your life. A lot of it's shame that developed when you were younger, either because of the way parents treated you or friends treated you or just a traumatic experience in your life. But you have these things in your life that you don't know how to deal with. And so rather than dealing with them, which is the mature thing, we do something to escape them. And so in your case, it sounds like it's masturbation, all right? That being said, how do you quit it? Well, you don't just quit it, okay? That's, that's the myth. Oh, if, I just, if I just stop, no, it, it's, it's a little more difficult than that because, again, this goes back to the brain, the heart, the emotional maturity. Uh, you need to figure out what is, what is it you're trying to escape from, and so that's probably going to require possibly some counseling, um, maybe professional counseling or pastoral counseling. I don't know, but it's going to require some sort of counseling or coaching. Uh, at the very least, maybe doing a, reading a good book on the subject, Not Every Man's Battle. I said a good book or, um, you know, a workshop like X3 Pure. We have that, the 30-day workshop. That could be very helpful. I would also tell you that you need to get into some sort of community, all right, because the guys I see who try to conquer these things in their life by themselves are almost never successful. And I just say almost because I haven't seen everyone out there. But I would I would wager and I would wager some money that says no one's successful without some sort of community in your life. Okay, um, we have the Live Free community, which is an online support uh, kind of peer to peer system or network. 
Uh, that's app-based. You can check that out at livefreecommunity.org. We also have smallgroupsonline.com, which are online weekly support slash small groups where you can meet with other guys, the same guys, 10 to 12, or if you're a woman, other women, um, and talk through life and talk about the things you're dealing with and process this stuff out. So I would tell you those are the things you really need to look into. And once you look into them, once you start tapping into those resources, you're going to find um, the answers to the questions you have. And yes, freedom from masturbation can happen, but it's not going to happen simply because you just will it to, to, to stop, right? Uh, or it's not going to happen just because I give you a secret sauce recipe that just flips the switch. It doesn't work like that, okay? There's a lot of work here to be done. You just got to commit to doing the work. You got to commit to... Uh, pursuing those resources. And I, I assure you, uh, you can't get free of this thing. So hope that helps. If you have a question you want me to answer in an upcoming Office Hours episode, please go to triplexchurch.com forward slash office dash hours, and I will be happy to answer it sometime in the near future. That's it. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.